Stoop tips him over. Stay there, seven, seven Gloucester. Hamilton again. Swiftly fed to Vunapola. Stoop one, again in a position one. that's looking like he's pulling that's down. Just got to gotta be careful. Powering over. And they may, they may have the score here. JP Doyle is heading under the post. It's a penalty try to Saracens. And reward for the big men. Nothing Gloucester could do, seemingly. And a simple two points from the boot of Alex Good. And that's one way to keep Kings unquiet from the outset. The early score. Well, and interesting, it was very much kickable, wasn't it? It was a kickable penalty. You can see it's actually held up which is why he doesn't simply award the try, he goes for the penalty try. But Saracen's going for the corner, thinking they have an advantage there. 12 trees to May. Ransom and Ashton meet him right on the game line. Nice quick hands from Hook, but the space wasn't there. Jamie George was. Robson again, trying to tuck it in behind the Saris defence, but Ransom well positioned. And a very swift rebound for Kvesic. And here's 12 trees. And oh. surely the pass had to go. Johnny May was screaming blue murder for the ball. They've got the penalty. They should have had the try. Oh, oh so I'm sorry. I, I screamed out. I know I shouldn't, but... We're Brilliant talking by Kvesic about, oh, early on. He's had a cracking start. Great vision here at pace, two on one, schoolboy stuff. You've got the far look at the anger on Johnny May there. He was the guy that actually should have been in the ruck. He was so angry and quite rightly so disgusted. Ben, that is an international England centre missing a two on one. He doesn't know Wigglesworth there, does he? He thinks that he's done enough to burn ransom, but he hasn't factored in the cover. Well, they got three points for it, really and honestly, it should have been five and potentially seven, of course. Twelve trees will be thinking about that for some time to come. Straight as a die, there's the benefit of the side to early on, but James Hook seems to have brought his kicking boots with him tonight, one point in it. stand in stepping up nicely so this is going to be a little bit of a rush job but the outcome is the same cool as a cucumber that is extremely unfortunate to say the least so lost his turn to try to disrupt the Saracens line out but George Cruz won't allow anything like that. Very efficient. That's once. And buying Wigglesworth some space here as well, despite the attentions of Kvesic. Johnny May. Well marshalled by Chris Ashton. And there's the advantage. Dan Robson is away. A little chip over the top. If he can gather, it is his. Has he got the touch? What a he has. That is sensational. Dan Robson. Well, I mean, there's no... Has he given a try straight away? Has he given a try from that? Or is he going to have a look? We're going to have a look, surely. Have a look. I mean, he was very yes. confident. Celebration. It I'm reminded sure me of the old Dan Luger try back in about 2000 Sorry. where he got his Sorry. left Sorry. hand on it. Um, Twickenham. Wow, what a finish. Decision-making absolutely spot-on. Take advantage of the confusion with Jim Hamilton, and then when he gets the other end, look at this control. Wow. Absolutely wow. perfect. Incredible. That looks good to me. And we may be leaving for pastures new, but he is determined to make his mark in the rest of this season. Well, to, to have the vision to get round that little short side, to chip all the skills, 
possible and the speed. You may award the try. Confirmation of one of the great Premiership scrum half scores. Sniping the blind side. The weighted chip, and that is some finish. Here's Hook. Atkinson. Gets it away nicely. 12 trees, quick hands. Away to Alifanua. Deliberate knock on, so the advantage is with Gloucester. They can't hang on to it. But we're going to see a card here. Deliberate knock on. It's Dave Strackle. JP Doyle has lost his patience. The shed are happy. It's not to be. And Duncan Taylor hoofs it away. So Saracen's a man down and with a slender two point advantage, but a couple of kicks there that James Hook really should have nailed down. Gloucester, at least on the scoreboard, should be in front. Who's that? George Cruz trying to make sure the instructions are getting through to the men right at the heart of the action. Okay, the Gloucester players are facing the wrong way there. And then to come out the side again, free shot. The advantage is with Saracens, the ball dabbed through and Robson hacks it away. We're going to see a card here. Look at Savage who's being given it, coming in at the side. 14 aside then, and Jim Hamilton feeding Mako Vunapola. This is looking ominous for the Cherry and Whites. Saracens think they have their second, and JP Doyle confirms as much. It's Billy Vunapola who's being credited with the score. Three from three tonight for Alex Good. This is probably the toughest of the evening for him. And taken away on the breeze, which has definitely picked up since kickoff. Deep inside the 22. Chances maybe for Gloucester. Got to hang on to the ball. Stuke is the target man. Morgan continues the motion. Ball available. Ball available. Robson again having to ferris in there to dig it away. 12 trees. Atkinson. Oh, a lovely offload. Here's Johnny May. That was absolutely fantastic. And here is a score, is it? Has he got that down? Black shirts swarming all over the top of James Hook, I think it was. Yeah, he, he was having to work very hard. He just lost control, didn't he, of the ball. Maybe it was slightly behind him. Ended up catching it behind his back, or at least holding it there. And it allowed... I think it was Alex Good, the opportunity to get on it. It's just a risky, risky option. Nice and simple for James Hook as Gloucester draw a little closer. And uh, further replacement onto the field in Ernst Joubert. Yeah, we're shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit, especially when we had the win first half. We needed to really keep our discipline because it's really hard to get out of there. And in a little bit better second half, but it's going to be tough to uh, have any sort of field position uh, with this win, which is only getting stronger. And it looks like it's getting a bit lively. I'll hand back to you. Thanks, Bass. Lively is the word. Johnny May has decided on adventure, and here goes Gareth Evans. A barnstorming run from the replacement eight. Needs to get the offload away. Brady is there! What about that? Gloucester take the lead in sensational style. One of the best tries you'll see this season. Johnny May started the magic way back inside his 22 hell of a run from Gareth Evans and Callum Braley his first ever Premiership try I said Gloucester had players that could open teams up Johnny May, look at this, on his own five metre line, shrugs out a one the balance, he's looking for space he's taking on the cumbersome runners good offloading, just about gets through the hands, but look at this for Gareth Evans just driving through the contact he's waiting for someone to run a line but he keeps breaking the tackles and because he does that, because he keeps his hands free, eventually the pace comes past him in Callum Braley. Different match now. 21 points to 18. 
What a moment for Callum Brayley. Sort of break through the line and then look for the support too early. Evans just thought, no, I'm going to keep my legs going and eventually one of the quick guys will go past me. I can give him the ball. Oh, hello. Oh, this is going to be a rest for George Cruz. A tip tackle and JP Doyle will surely have none of it. I don't see how that isn't red. It has to be. Okay, can he, I can tell you what I've got. Let's get some pressure. Okay, the player is coming down on 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 his front chest. Yes. Okay, it's certainly not a shoulder or his head. So we've taken away the arm. So for me, that's a yellow card. Agreed. Okay, fine. That's an interesting call. You will have your own opinions, but George Cruz, I think, can consider himself a very, very lucky man. A little wave to the crowd from Nick Wood, which has to be good news. Itoji leaping highest for Saracens as we go straight back into the thick of it. Gloucester have to be on red alert here. They've given up the penalty. Well, it's exactly the same penalty from the first half when they had the penalty try. Obviously, they weren't flying towards the line this time. It won't be a penalty try, but they've been warned about doing that. What Andy ball, Hazel talked ball. about at half time. Side entry 11. Side entry, the penalty coming, but Saracen sniffing the score to Cock. Looking for it, and Bunapola can't gather. 11. 11. 11. So JP Doyle wants another 11. word. 11. Yeah. That's Johnny May. It's a yellow. Ball going forward, side entry. No, you're straight in the side. It's a side entry thought it was for pulling down, he called Maul and they hadn't managed to sack the line out as Andy Hazel was talking about before and if you don't do that, you're then playing catch up you, you must see Saracens you kicking to the corner to as they move forward, they do go down the referee's already called Maul again, Gloucester player on the floor what? hasn't pulled what? it over the Todgy the target again don't third time cross. lucky, will it be for Saracens, looks like Maka Vunapola is at the heart of things in there or is it his brother Billy here goes Mako, reaches out for the score. Saracen's back in front and striking after that long, long delay. And it's drifted away on the breeze. Could prove critical, we've had a few that we might look back on and call critical. Saracen's with a two-point advantage. To the short side they go. Oh, just too slow in delivering the ball. It's been knocked forwards. Advantage over. De Kock chasing through. Here's Ashton. The dribble and the score. Sarri's closed the deal. Check we'll just have a look, just in case Chris Ashton is in, uh, in front of Neil De Kock there on the break. Wow, he is a poacher of the try line isn't he turnover from hook and he's offside offside by a mile JP, Great call, yep. JP Doyle. Black was offside he was offside correct so where's the mark please back on the halfway line okay no try oh, oh, back on the halfway. 14 offside well there's a, a chance offside. of a shot at goal but offside. given the way the wind has picked up it is a very very long shot it's pretty much on the halfway line, isn't it? Yeah, he's absolutely spot on. Maybe even have gained a yard there. He's going for posts. It's climbing, it's climbing, it's climbing! He's nailed it! I think a lot of those people that were leaving are running back into the ground. They want to celebrate with the Shed who've got absolutely balmy. Just incredible. It's a match that has had pretty much everything. And James Hook has stepped up and nailed one of the best kicks of his career. So much pressure. So much anxiety. It never looked like missing. No, exactly. 
He knew as soon as he struck it. And Gloss, they haven't played particularly well in the last couple of weeks, but how your season can turn around. They get the all-important win here at King's Home. You can see how much it means to the players. Two wins the last two weeks. They feel they spring ball back to the back end of the season. It's a win for the hungry folk of King's Home. More than three months since their last home win in the Premiership. It's a biggie.